Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Yes, I'm a little under the weather, but you know what? It was not gonna stop me, honey, not from filming this intro because I am the new proud owner of the Inslee Rain Harvest Moon Palette, y'all. We're going through four looks. I'm about to swatch this palette, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you through my week from Monday through today, Thursday. If that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I had a little cold and then it went away and now I've got something else. There's something definitely going around and um, it is what it is. Now the sun is, is changing, so I'm gonna change that. Let me know how you're doing in the chat or the comment section, whatever you prefer. Y'all, this palette, okay. Inslee Rain is an indie brand. I have never tried this brand before, but I've definitely seen their releases uh, from time to time. Now the palette that first caught my eye, I believe was the Flower Moon. Flower Moon is the palette. That's the one that caught my eye. And I was like, no, I don't need it. I have this formula, blah, blah, blah. I still want it. Maybe Black Friday, I don't know. But this, this, mm -mm. when I saw this palette, y'all, there was no way, no way. I tried, I tried to ignore it, I tried to fight it, I tried to say no, I have these shades, but you know what, y'all knew I was gonna get it. I didn't know, but uh, y'all knew. Y'all were like, just go ahead, Kara, just go ahead, you've been doing better. The 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 issue with this palette was the price tag, y'all. $88.88, that's very pricey, you know? So we, we gotta talk about, is this palette worth $88.88? I mean, that's the thing. Now the Flower Moon palette was $69. So we were wondering like, what was the jump about? And I believe it's because these pans are magnetic. So I will talk at the end how I feel about that. Uh, and maybe some improvements in the future that could possibly lower the price. I don't know, cause I'm not a brand owner. So you can take that with a grain of salt. But y'all, I am so excited to have this palette. I'm just gonna read to you uh, the description from the website. We're gonna look at the palette up close. And then I'm talking so fast for two reasons. One, I got karate to go to, but two, I have not swatched this palette yet. And I've had this palette for over a week now and I am so excited to do so. This Harvest Moon palette is part of a larger collection and I believe that that collection had some multi-chromes, it had a lipstick that came with it, but I just went with the palette. Uh, this is my first time trying the brand and I do wanna let you know that I do have a coat with Inslee Rain because I was accepted into their affiliate program and so that coat is Frizz Face. If you ever wanna purchase anything from Inslee Rain, you can use that coat and I will get a small commission. So thank you to Inslee Rain for accepting me into your affiliate program. And I really can't wait to try more from this brand. I do have the Twisted Tea Party palette coming, so I'm very excited. Now fall is my favorite season and this palette is an ode to fall. And from the website, it says, whispers of autumn magic are in the air as the moment you've all been waiting for has arrived, heralding the moment where nature and artistry intertwine. Immerse yourself in eight breathtaking multi-chromes, three of which are hollow chromes, six shimmering dual chromes and foiler shimmers paired perfectly with seven velvety grungy mattes crafted in our refined formula. Encased in our most intricate and alluring packaging yet, this palette is a love letter to fall. Each magnetic pan dances with possibility, awaiting its next journey. So Inslee Rain is a cruelty-free brand and this palette has a shelf life of 12 months. So let's get into this 21 color pressed pigment palette, y'all. So here is the beautiful packaging on the outside. This is the back and we open it up and we have the same packaging here at the top. And here are our 21 shades, y'all. And I just think this palette is so pretty. It is one of the prettiest palettes I've seen all year, truly. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So and let's start with Foilage, Harvest Moon, and Corn Maze. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna show them like this, and when I'm done the row, I'll, I'll stand up and move in. 
closer and I'm gonna turn the exposure down. We have Hunter's Moon, Equinox, Sparkling Cider, and Ghost Moon. I'm also gonna try to figure out which shades are the hollow shades. I think Hunter's Moon is, because I see some rainbow holographic flakes there. Because it doesn't say Equinox is a really beautiful a taupey foil and then we have sparkling cider and ghost moon ghost moon any shade that's like that black to red flip I well it's not even black I don't know what this is but it's beautiful all right let me stand up so that is the top row of harvest moon this is the one that I think is the holochrome next we have deciduous flannel and sweater weather oh my gosh this one is so shiny. It's a beautiful duochrome. You can probably see it from there. Flannel is a little chunkier, a little more texture, but still creamy. Sweater Weather has a very similar texture to flannel. Chunkier, but still really smooth. So there are those first three shades of the second row. We have a Bougie, Witchful Thinking, Tombstone, and finally we have Forage. Oh my gosh. I think Bougie may be a holochrome because I'm looking and seeing those uh, holographic rainbow flecks. I think Witchful Thinking may be the third holochrome. Oh my gosh. And then Tombstone. Like these are so smooth. Even the chunky ones are really, really smooth. So here are all of the shimmers from the palette and the thing about this is this is such a great spectrum and it is like look at the swatches they're perfect I mean you see I didn't put anything on my arm like nothing this is how they are and this is gorgeous for the mats we have pumpkin hayride and cozy I can't say cozy any other way after uh, listening to cozy from Beyonce comfortable in my skin Cozy with who I am. These are a lot of shades, y'all, so I'm trying to keep them uh, out of my elbow, but I think we're gonna go into it. So those are the first three mattes. Then we have Chili, Spooky Season, Phantom, and Hibernate. All right, y'all, I'm in a crazy position, but these are the other four mattes in the palette, and I'm gonna see if we can get the whole palette in frame. And there she is, y'all. Like, look how beautiful this is. There is absolutely nothing I would change about this color story. I think it is phenomenal, actually. And I don't really know what more someone could ask for for a fall color story. Let me just keep showing it for a second because that's so pretty. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so we can uh, see the shades up close. I think that would be helpful. I'm just moving my arm a little bit and hoping that you can see some of the holographic flex and duochrome shifts. It's always a bit hard to capture on camera, but I just hope that you're able to see the beauty of these shades and these mattes. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Like, I almost don't want to wipe this off. It's so pretty. I am going to actually get into four different looks with this palette from the work week. And then I will be back at the end to let you know my final thoughts about this one. Y'all, we got 15 minutes, 15 minutes to play. Have not swatched, have not done anything. We're just gonna get into something like nice and fall and crispy. Let me tell you what I have on my face, my Hourglass foundation, my Dior concealer, I have on my Ben Nye pink powder. For bronzer, I'm wearing my oversized Chanel bronzing powder in this shade Sun Bath, which is deep. And then for blush, I am wearing my NARS Afterglow blush palette. And I pretty much combine Savage, well this color, Savage, that's the main one I wanted. And then these two colors. So that's what I've got on. On my lips, I'm wearing Unearthly Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Kalina. Mm, that just reminds me of fall with this cardigan. We're in cardigan weather and we have to wear red, white, and blue. So I'm making it work. It's still a little bit of my own style. I am wearing my NARS eyeshadow primer. And I think, oops, I'm gonna need yours today. All right, and I have my Monday morning rally. So can't be playing around. All right, 10 minute look, loading now. Again, have not tried anything with this. So I, I really don't even know where I'm going. I have no ideas. I'm gonna 
start with Hayride right here. I'm gonna kind of let my lips, I guess, maybe inspire. Damn, and there's no mirror. Now, y'all could've given me a mirror. $88, y'all could've given me a mirror. I don't need to see that girl, okay? This girl. I don't need to see her. I see her on the front. Are we gonna roll today, y'all? This is a BK Beauty 201 brush. Again, first time trying out Inslee Rain. So we will see how it goes. So far, so good. I guess, you know, you can really tell if you're in a rush, if it comes out good, you know? Mm, I cannot wait when I get to work. I'm gonna have my salmon, like my locks on my bagel thin, my capers and my cream cheese. I'm so excited to have that. I have not been really intermittent fasting because I've been getting up so early. Like if you're getting up at 430, by the time seven o'clock rolls around, I'm hungry. Show is hungry. Like, I can't, I gotta figure it out. And I definitely am not on my end game with working out. And I'm thankful because my weight is the same, but I'm still trying to get it down. Like, I'm glad it's not going up. Still try to do a good job with my eating habits. Just gonna go into this Sonia G brush. Just a little. Okay, that's fine. That's not really even important. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's important, but you know what I'm saying. Going into my Unearthly. Don't wanna do Unearthly. Just into Cozy right here. It's an Unearthly uh, blender. Just in the crease, Cozy. And just deepen things up just a little bit. You know I'm all about these shimmers, so. Oh my God, not 708, come on. Taking a little Glimmer Grass from Unearthly. Not sure if I need this, but I'm just gonna go ahead because I'm not sure the texture of the shimmers as of yet. So I'm just taking a little bit on my lids. Nice tacky little base there. All right, shimmers, what do we wanna do? I'm gonna start with Equinox right here. It's kind of just going with this little, ooh topi look we got going on oh yeah okay yes mm-hmm that's really pretty i don't think i can zoom in anymore let me know what you think you know i'm just looking for some easy easy looks right now y'all that looks good and let's do another one too we need another shimmer let's do oh okay bougie bougie is the one I feel like that kind of picks up the little bit of red, well, the red that I have on. Oh, this is such a beautiful fall color right here. And you see I'm just patting it. I'm not swiping it, I'm just patting it. It's not a fallouty shade by any means, but I'm just tapping it on in. Cause that glimmer grasp is just really uh, holding it, so. I think that looks great. I'm really not 100% with this mat right here. I'm gonna just take a little bit of this highlighter I got right here in my hand. Try to blend it a little bit. And I'm gonna just stamp back into Cozy. Oh yes, okay. Let's get into the lower lash line. I am gonna go into Hayride, which was our initial transition shade. I'm just taking a What's Up Beauty shader. And then we need an inner corner point. And I'm gonna do Hunter's Moon for that right here. All right, here is look number one. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna just turn this down a hair. That way you can really see the colors. I think it looks really pretty and I think it's gonna go beautifully with what I have on today. I will be back with my mascara and liner and let you know what I'm thinking about look number one. All right, y'all, I am back with the finished look. I use Victoria Beckham Bordeaux and my What's Up Beauty mascara. Let me know what you think about look number one. Might as well go into a scent of the day. I think I'm going to Testing out, let's test this out. This is Almond Harmony by the House of Oud. It's, I like it. It's almond and cinnamony, but there's there's this like Play-Doh kind of note, but <laughs> I do like it. 
I'm gonna bring that with me today. It's pretty strong, I feel like. I'm not gonna need a lot. And let me just go ahead and show you my outfit really quick. So I have on my cardigan, and I do have on <laughs> my SpongeBob SquarePants socks for my red, white, and blue, my jeans, my red Converse's. It's gonna be a great today. Definitely let me know your thoughts on look number one, and we are gonna get into a few more. Hey y'all back to do look number two with harvest moon and y'all let me tell you you're gonna be sad i'm gonna be sad when i got home from work the look i had on yesterday looked so terrible and i'm trying to figure out why 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 did it look like that i'm gonna pop up i have to pop, i hate popping pictures up because this is an extra step but it's necessary i have to show y'all it creased Faded, I don't know what happened. I'm like, was it the glimmer grasp? But I always use glimmer grasp. So we're gonna try, I'm doing four looks in this video. <sighs> I just hope it was my error, you know? Because it is an $88 palette. I did order the Twisted Tea Party. And I just got an affiliate code with Inslee Rain because I did apply for the affiliate program because I would love to try, you know, more of their items. So let's just hope that was a fluke and let's get into, cause I really like the look, you know? So we're gonna get into something else. This no mirror thing is, is getting me though, y'all. Like it really is. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't have a mirror there either. But you know what did have a mirror? You wanna know what did have a mirror? So y'all can say what y'all want. This was one of my BYOPs. Say what you want. <laughs> All right. Um, today we're gonna go more gropely, I guess. This little gray mauvey shade. I am gonna go into the shade Chili right here and need my phone because 705. We got this, y'all. Today's Tuesday, by the way. So we doing four looks, four days. We have a short day today, the orange shirt that I'm wearing that you saw. That is an anti-bullying shirt. I have a black hoodie that I also wear that has the same thing on it. So you'll see me wear that a lot. And this brush is a BK Beauty Angie Out and Flashy A503 brush. And this is pretty. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I did bring it pretty high up today. But that's all right. I'm going to take this Sydney Gra Sydney Gross. <laughs> Sydney Grace blender. I'm going to go into spooky season. I, I, I'm baffled at the creasing. I'm really baffled, y'all, because I don't feel like, and I haven't swatched this palette yet, so I don't feel like the shimmers were particularly like wet feeling or creamy, but again, I only used two. But the two that I used, I don't even know, y'all. I was blown. I was like, what? I'm not going to use the Glimmer Grasp today. I'm going to just see if the look holds up any better. And I didn't even go outside for recess. And there's no humidity. So I'm just not certain. All right. I feel like we have a nice little smoky eye going on. And, ooh, okay. Let's see. And I've got these little, you know... What do you call these shades? Like raspberry? I don't know. Shades of one. So, but I also want to do this orange today too. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but let's, let's look at Witchful Thinking. Cute name. Oh yeah. I do have on my NARS primer and that's my typical primer. So that's really pretty. And this, you know, this dual chrome is not one that we haven't seen before but i i do love the idea of having it in a palette you know that's already made i mean that's just this palette is all about convenience for me because i do build my own palettes all the time but you know this takes the thought and the guesswork out of it everything's already there which was the appeal for me because i you know you all know i have a huge indie collection but i love this this looks really good Do you see that shift right there? All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna go into Tombstone. This is one of the standout shades that I saw in this palette and I was like, wow, that's gonna look really great. And I think it's gonna look nice with my 
with my orange shirt today. It's real smooth. I don't think I realized that this is a duochrome. It is like that fiery orange and it shifts to a gold. Okay, that's not helping. And that looks really pretty. I need this look to stay. This looks real good. That gives just a nice touch of orange to go with our orange theme today for unity. So orange is supposed to be the color for unity. I don't know if that's universal or that's just like a county thing, but I love how these two shades blend into each other. These look real good. Okay, let's pray this look holds up y'all. All right, for my under eye, I'm, I think I like spooky season. So I'm gonna go back. I keep putting the, the KKW palette away. I'm like, no, I need the mirror. So just taking spooky season all the way across. I did get some of the tombstone shade on the lower lash. So I'm going to tombstone again, since I already got it on my under eye and just put it there. This is like indie sunset. <laughs> oh, it's Tyrone. Hello? Hey, what you doing? Just trying to get ready for work. You took something out for dinner? Uh, it, we're going to karate, so. Alright, because I was going to go to uh, Chick-fil-A when I got off. I was going to get them something. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I have some gift right cards. Now. I have some gift cards in my bag. What you, uh, what you want from there? I don't know if I'm going to get I anything. They get, they get chicken tenders, right? And fries. And a... Let's go into Deciduous right here. Y'all, this has to last. This has to last today, y'all. It has to. Maybe I rub my eyes, which is a, a high, I'm not making an excuse. It is a high possibility, high possibility that I was rubbing my eyes or somebody may have threw me in a tizzy and I did something. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what we do today. I'm really going to try to be um, cognizant of what I'm doing. No, y'all don't have time to play PlayStation. What? Look number two. Marky, get your glasses on. I'll be back with my mascara and my liner. I love this one though. And your shoes. Okay, be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back with the final look. Look number two is complete. I'm into it. I use the Victoria Beckham liner in Coco and Thrive Mascara. And what else? I have on Chanel a Demi Mont lipstick, but in that cardigan I had on yesterday, did I tell y'all I found my finesse lipstick from Proper Beauty? I need to have my hair like, I like my hair to be like a little more in my face. I found my Proper Beauty finesse lipstick. It's been there for probably since last fall and I'm so happy. It is like my favorite. Mm. Oh no, I don't have pockets. I wanted to tell you all about my blush too and my scent of the day while it's 718. I am wearing the shade Burst from Unearthly Cosmetics. I have all my blushes in this little palette here and this is Burst right here. So good. Ew, why did I sound like that? Ooh, let's talk about my scent of the day, y'all. I found it in my bag yesterday too. I've been looking for it. I only have this much left. Can y'all see? It's Navitus Parfums Ambrosia Imperial. And that is um, AI the Great's fragrance. I did order a new one. This one is designed after Bananas Foster. And the new one is designed after baked pears. Y'all, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I just was like, I wish they did make more sizes, but they don't, so. All right, so let me show you my outfit. I need a better like situation to show y'all my stuff, but oh, this is my cardigan. It's from Farm Rio, which is like my favorite brand when I can afford it, which is only when they have 50% off. So I have that with my Unity shirt on. And I have on my little child socks and my favorite Converse is that have no laces. I love them so much. I'm supposed to be finishing up testing my KLE, but y'all, I'm just not, I'm just not really into them. I'm trying, but I'm hoping to have that video up this week. I don't know about this lip. I don't know. This lip is fine. I'm just procrastinating now because August is brushing his teeth, which is going to take, I don't, and now he wants to take a long time to brush his teeth when before he takes 10 seconds. All right, have a great day, y'all. And uh, we'll be back. I'll let you know. I'll take a picture 
of what this look looks like at the end of the day. I also do not have recess, so I'm going to really try to be conscious of what I'm doing with my, with my hands on my face. So let's get to look number three. I've officially turned on the heat because I can't. I don't care if it's supposed to be 70 degrees. I want a sweater dress with leggings like this is this is my perfect weather, you guys. All right, let's get into look number three. I do wanna share that look number two lasted beautifully, so I definitely must have rubbed my eyes. I'll pop up a picture of what it looked like when the look was old. <laughs> All right, let us do it, because it's like seven o'clock. And you hear this voice? Just call me Carl, because I was getting better and then last night I felt my throat get scratchy again and I'm like am I getting something else so many kids are sick right now <sighs> just all kinds of stuff going on luckily luckily I still have my KKW Beauty palette and Mario all right let's go into hibernate today I'm gonna see what we can do with the green oh I did not see ghost moon Oh, mm, we might have to use Ghost Moon. This is a little Dose of Colors tapered blending brush. I somehow got some shimmer on <laughs> this brush just now. Oh, that's all right. All right, let me tell you what's on my face, actually. I've got on my typical base that I had in all the other looks, but for blush, I'm wearing, and bronzer, the Hourglass Snake Palette. And for lips, I'm wearing, I think it's punchy. It's one of those Maybelline vinyl ink lip stays. And let me just tell you my scent of the day while I'm here. I am still, y'all, I know it, I've had it for weeks. The Oogasm collection. I am just so undecided on how I feel about them because I keep changing my mind. And I was ranking them. And at first, I, I definitely like the Vanilla Oud. I like that one. But I just, I knew I wanted the tobacco oud. I mean I got all four but I knew the tobacco oud was gonna be it and then I smelled it and I'm like no this is not it this is not it for me I'm gonna just switch brushes to the Sydney Grace blender then I wore the tobacco oud last night and I was like hmm I kind of like it probably gonna be more of a layering fragrance but I kind of like it and then I was playing around with cafe and rose oud and at first I thought I liked Rose Oud, but I don't think I do. And I think the Cafe one is okay, but the Cafe one has a lot of rose in it, in my opinion. And I couldn't smell the Cafe last night, but today I could. So I know this video is taking forever, but I, my thoughts are really scatterbrained. I was gonna try to film it tonight, but it just depends on how I feel when we get back from karate. Cause we didn't go to karate yesterday. Cause Oh my God, yesterday was just a lot. We had a two hour early dismissal for Unity Day, I was telling y'all. Okay, this blend is coming out well since I'm talking, because at first I was concerned. Just with the color I chose, not the performance of the shadow. The shadow's performing fine, but I needed it to be lighter. And so you see, you can really blend out and build up the shades. So I'm just putting a little more on the outer corner. We had the Unity Day uh, situation which was fine, but you know, we talked about a lot of stuff and it was like a three hour meeting. So after we left, I was like mentally spent. Um, so Ghost Moon. Oh, and we have flannel. Flannel and Ghost Moon. Those are it. I'm just gonna go with my gut. Let me just show y'all the shift. You see Ghost Moon right here? It looks like that black to red shift and I don't get those shades a lot and I definitely don't get them in palettes. And then flannel is this one here. So let's, merge those together for today's look oh yeah ghost moon mm-hmm might put a little bit of the phantom deep purple on the outer corner after this no glitter glue today oh mm-hmm see right there what time is it it's 709 don't forget you gotta brush your teeth August was August was coughing last night too I was sleeping with him I had to give him a treatment I'm like you literally just got off prednisone. Going to the allergist in a couple weeks. So anyway, yeah, Unity Day was fine, but I'm tired. Today I'm gonna be getting the kids, going into flannel, ready for a math test. Okay. And uh, it's gonna be tough. It's word problems, but they're multi-step word problems. It's so hard because it's more than the math. It's the vocabulary. 
and they have to know you know what these words mean in order to choose the correct operation i don't know if y'all can see but this is really nice i'm gonna turn this down look how beautiful that is i don't know but that's not very important what's important is getting ready for school i'm gonna take a singe beauty brush into phantom right here it's like when i'm close up i need the exposure to be a little lower because we need accuracy i think i've decided that i like these brushes for what i like to use them for which is diffusion all is so pressed to let me know what model iphone he has and it was my phone for like two years like anyway let me go back to the math problems because i'm all over the place as per usual as kids get further on in math the more reading is involved and that's when you really start to see kids who are successful in math but not successful in reading start to struggle i'm going into hibernate which is the green and i really feel for them and multi-step okay i can't do this i don't know what that was about multi-step word problems are just really really tough because they have to under really understand and have good reading comprehension so it's all connected now i can for the checkpoints i can read them the checkpoints are just like quizzes that the district wants you to do i can read those to them but the district assessment i can't so it's just it's, it's really rough i'm going to go into a foliage for the inner corner this is a cute little palette you know what, August is 7.13, but I'm not leaving till like 7.25 today. I've already decided. It's been decided. I'm sure y'all got a little sweater dress on today. LuLaRoe leggings, I'm not even playing. I don't care if it ends up being 70 degrees and I'm going outside today, I'm bringing this up. Cause why not? So I'm like, at this point, if we're gonna really teach kids where they are, and I have kids in fourth grade on all levels, starting with kindergarten, I just wish that we could, I know they don't want to homogeneously group kids, but we need to because we are missing foundational skills, basic addition and subtraction, basic multiplication and division. So when you get into two-step word problems, you're talking about the kids should have already mastered all of those skills and they shouldn't be getting hung up on them in the multi-step problem. It should, to me, it should be more about understanding the steps that need to be taken and you know what operation to use. That's way down the list, you know what I mean? You can't be struggling on addition and subtraction. You just can't. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroon Liner and I'm gonna use the shimmer side. We'll see if it stays in the waterline because I don't remember actually, I haven't used it in a while, at least not this side. It's staying all right, we're gonna use it. I'm gonna stand by stick behind i wish we could say you know what this class doesn't have any kids that are learning on a fourth grade level but the majority are on a third grade level let's do the third grade math program and that's what we did when i taught in the city we i was at a charter school that's what they did they grouped the kids according to the level because you can't skip you cannot skip steps it's like, as I tell my students, it's like Jenga. You know, with Jenga, you have to have a nice foundation. And then when you start pulling the pieces out, you might be able to pull out one or two on the side or maybe even in the middle, maybe not on the side, that aren't as important to the structure of the tower. But you start pulling out crucial pieces, the whole tower is gonna fall. And that's the analogy that I gave my students and I told them, I don't care what level you're on, but I will care if you don't grow. Even if you stay on that level, if you don't get farther along. I said, because I'm up here teaching my heart out, teaching, teaching, teaching. And I told them, you have to sit in the position to learn. If you got your head down, if you're looking at the back of the room, when, I'm, when the show, the action, me, is at the front. Did you do it? No, I didn't. Did you wash your face? Did you wash your face, partridge in a pear tree? Did you wash your face? Like, you got a whole show up front and you looking the other way. What are we doing? If you're doing that, honey, I can't help you. I'm gonna try. But I'm already shucking and jiving and dancing and whatever, you know? Doing everything I can, trying to make it fun. You're not gonna get it by osmosis. You have to make a conscious decision that this is something that you wanna do. And I know they're young, but 
I told them like, it's up to you. It's up to you. And I do feel like some of this is an after effect of COVID, but not all of it. Not all of it, I'm sorry. Nope, not going. COVID was a lot, don't get me wrong. Kids missed out on, you know, like one and a half crucial years, all of them did. But they miss out on all the years, so I'm sorry. There's other situations, can you turn off that? August, I don't know why you're coming at me looking like Thriller, go. There's other situations that are impacting <gasps> growth and we gotta get it together. All right, that was my spiel for today. Here's a look. No, zoom it out. I am gonna zoom it out, so I have to fix my hair. But you know what, I just wanna let you, mm -mm. it is 719, come on, we gotta go. Yeah, come on. So that's the outfit, going with this, let me do my Mr. Rogers move, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> my leggings. <laughs> These are my Lularo leggings, y'all. They're so soft. I don't buy them from a Lularo oh. seller, though. I get them. I haven't gotten them in years, but I would get them off of um, eBay or yeah, eBay. All right, y'all. Well, we're gonna get on out of here and we will be back for the last and final look, but I'm loving this palette so far, just so you know. All right, I'll be back. All right, you guys. Uh, my voice is sounding like Carl again. We're at our last and final look for Harvest Moon. It's coming to a close. Today's Thursday and I'm hoping this is the same day the video will go up. Let's just go ahead and do it. I am not feeling the greatest today but it's always a great day for makeup, so let's do it. I don't think I went into pumpkin patch for some reason. I'm gonna do that on the inner transition area. I wanna do kind of a neutrally look, maybe. I'm gonna take the Sonia G, what is this? Classic crease, y'all. Right into pumpkin patch. For blush today, I'm wearing Maiden's Blush by RMS Beauty, and my lips, it's a Dior lip shine in the shade Dior Lita. So I've been listening to Lauren May Beauty pretty much all morning, her fragrance channel, and you know how that goes. I have so many fragrances I want. I think I'm gonna do this in the transition. Did I use this shade? I just really can't remember. When I come home, I'm gonna do a quick intro swatches and just final thoughts, yeah. So I'm gonna do. Oh, because they know they on my list today. What's up? Can you read it to me? I'm sorry for y'all. I'm sorry, man. But can we give me a hard time? It's okay. I will get upset sometimes. Oh, thank you, Marky. I know everyone gets upset sometimes. You know what I would like you to do? I appreciate that. I really do, and I love you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's what this is about. This is about you getting your phone. No. It's not about really being sorry. No. Um, I will talk to you in a minute. What I need you to do is get a paper I'm towel. I don't know what time you're getting your phone because now I feel like that car wasn't about being sorry. It was about getting a phone. So what I'd like you to do is go get a wet paper towel and wash your face and close my door. I do nothing. Mm, I don't want to tell you. So Marky, I'm sad too. Um, let's go into cozy because I'm not doing it today. Like, I don't feel well. And this is why, like, I never really like to tell children that, oh, here's the thing, okay. So I don't like to tell my students or my own kids that I don't feel well because when you do that, you're, say, you're saying that because you think they're gonna take it easy on you. You think they're gonna be like, oh, she doesn't feel well. Let me go ahead and just chill out, right? And then when they don't do that, I become mad. I've learned this as a teacher. I become mad because you would think they have some empathy, right? You think they'd be like, you know what, Miss Chambers, I can hear it in her voice. And she said, I don't feel well. Let's not do our normal rigmarole that we always do. They, it, I'm not saying they don't care, but they don't have the capacity. Some do, but not really. The capacity to do that to alter their behavior. And he's gonna do Marky in August. August tries. He'll be like, he'll see Marky do something, like if Marky acts out, then he'll be like, I was like, you know, I told him this morning, I said, I really feel ignored. He'll go, August, I'm not ignoring you. 
today today you're not so i don't do that i don't tell people i don't feel great i just because i, I don't want to be mad because i'm gonna be the one mad in the end when i feel like people aren't um treating me the way that i would like to be treated when i'm sick the way i treat my own children when they're sick you see what i'm saying so then it all becomes like i can't control anybody's behavior but i can control mine you know what I did? I came in here and sat down to do my makeup. I'm not missing out on my makeup. And I'm not rushing today. I'm not going to stay, of course. It's just, I don't want to go and sit and watch. I'm going to do my makeup till about 7.25 today. All right, let's zoom in. So you see we got a little smokiness. It's not uh, blended out the best, but that, that's all right. We use sparkling shot cider. I feel like I feel like I still missed some shades here but i definitely would like to go into harvest moon i feel like we need to do that that's the name of the entire palette creamy super foiled shade and i'm gonna just start by pressing it because it looks a bit chunky let's bring it up like that yeah yeah i think that's gonna be nice I'm gonna smooth it out a little. Very, very pretty. And then corn maze, I think we should do next, which I wanna do them side by side because then we can see the differences because they do look similar in the pan, but they look like different textures. I'll show you in just a sec. Oh, lies, I'm lying. They did look similar in the pan until I realized that I think corn maze <laughs> is a, a shifty shade again you know i haven't swatched these yet so oh corn maze is gorgeous okay nice and smooth this is gonna blend right on in but then there's a little shift so it's different from harvest moon yeah I, i'm feeling this 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 works for me luckily my kids have a math checkpoint today they take them on the chromebook what I am gonna have them do is do all of their work on paper first. I'm gonna print it out. And then once I see, you don't tell me it's time to go. Oh, I know, I'm not going to staff course today cause I don't, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, you, we might not go inside today. I'm moving a bit slow. Wanna show them what you look like for picture day? They will see me. Okay, well, never mind. No, it's all right. Don't do them no favors. Wow. We even have our face washed today. And I think we brushed our teeth for teeth. two full minutes. I'm going to take this Bristles Beauty Pencil Brush and I'm going to go into Pumpkin Patch again for the lower lash line. And then we're going to take a, I mean, then we're going to do it in a corner highlight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just do my final thoughts when I get home tonight. Really am excited about swatching this palette out because I haven't done it yet. And I just feel like it's, I mean, when did I do my first look? Monday? Yeah, I'm just really excited to swatch it out. I love this, y'all. This looks so cute. Oh, with this lipstick, I'm feeling it. I know I don't sound like it, but I really am. This month is gonna be a high spending month for me. Y'all are just, oh gosh. Oh, I, let me go back. I was talking, I was Lauren May Beauty, y'all. I'm about to blame her. <laughs> this is Coco. Oh, by the way, I started watching the Victoria Beckham documentary. And it's, it's I only have watched one episode, but he talks about meeting her and how, you know, when he saw her, he was like, I'm going to marry that one. I thought that was so cute. They're such a cute couple. I want to keep watching it. And I'm finally on season two of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I'm really into this look, y'all. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. That's such a little cute name, Cosmetics. <laughs> So this is it, y'all. This is the last look. I'm sad. I'm sad. Oh my God, no inner corner oint oint. I think I wanna do Hunter's Moon, which is this one here. Yeah. I'm gonna tape a mirror on this because I need a mirror. Did I put a little, I wonder if Amazon has a little sticky, uh, I'm sure they do, like an adhesive mirror. I know you shouldn't have to do that, but I need a mirror in this palette. I really do. I can't keep risking dropping palettes 
because I'm switching back and forth. I'm trying to also think, and I'll have to include it in my final thoughts, like how important is, I need to write this down. Um, how important is it for me to have magnetic shades? All right, I do have on a little Mr. Rogers sweater today. Oh wait, let me show you. Let me just show you the outfit. I've got a Nightmare Before Christmas shirt on. I am doing earrings today, oh, I'm tired. All right. Love this, y'all. My little striped pants. And I'm gonna do, let's do these. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm wearing today. Um, Tyrone gave me this shirt. I think it's from like five below. I love graphic tees. But my scent of the day, y'all, is fig porn. This is by Born to Stand Out. I think they're an Asian fragrance house. But I'm getting back into my Lucky Scent samples because what I did was I took my Lucky Scent samples because they come in vials, which I cannot stand. And I bought these little 2ml spray bottles or... Yeah, I think they're 2ml or whatever, 3ml from Amazon. And I used my label maker and I, oh my God, it was a lot of work. I did this like months ago so I can test out my samples. Damn, I think I just used it all up. I will get a full bottle of uh, fig porn. It's, I, I think I'm starting to really like the fig note because that's what's in Father Figure from Floor. That's why it's called Father Figure. And um, I didn't get that at first, but oh, I have my little empty <laughs> travel size. But father figure to me is like, it's got more of like, it's not tobacco, but it's something that smells like tobacco in it for me. And this one doesn't have it. This one I think is the pure fig. And I'm saying that because it does smell like father figure. So that common note I'm assuming is the fig. And I, I like this one. They have one called Dirty Rice. Maybe I'll find that one and do that one in the next video. But yeah, this, this, this is, this is it. So I'll have to um, save these because I just emptied it and I'm so sad. <sighs> All right, I'll be back as I'm spraying nothing to talk to you about my final thoughts on this beautiful Harvest Moon palette. All right, y'all. So I really hope that you enjoyed the four looks that I did with the Harvest Moon palette. I really had a great time creating them and I really love how they all turned out. Again, that first look that I did, I definitely wiped it off because the other three looks stay beautifully. And actually this is the look I created this morning, the last look that you saw. And I think it still looks great. There's no creasing or anything. So that was definitely my error with the first look. I absolutely love this palette. I am so glad that I went out on a limb and purchased it. I do know that the indie makeup prices are continuing to increase and it's like buying luxury makeup at this point. So I would say if the price would be lower and the palettes are not magnetic, I think I would sacrifice having the magnetic pans because I will use these for a BYOP video like where I built my own palettes like that. I will definitely do that because they're magnetic, but I don't think that if these shades weren't magnetic, I would be like, dang, I really wanted to use this for one of my BYOP videos. I just think I'm going to benefit, you know, by using them for those videos because they're magnetic. So I hope that makes sense. I think we could go back down to maybe the $50 or $60 price range possibly. You are getting a variety of shades. You're getting foils, you're getting holochromes, you're getting duochromes. And if you look at Millie's video from Bad to the Brow, she does comparisons for every single one of these shimmer shades. And I will link her video because if you think about how much some of those single duochromes from like Cleona or Terra Moons or Davina may cost on their own, you are getting some value in having these in a palette, as well as not having the task of going on an indie website and trying to pick out single shades. Some people like doing that, I like doing that, but I think people that are new to indie or people that prefer palettes would just prefer the convenience of having all of these beautiful shades that people buy as singles already in a pre-made palette. I think the choice of mattes were great. I love how every single thing performed in this palette.
I also think that I would have liked to have a mirror because this palette is light, but by it being a little larger, I just felt like I was gonna drop it when I'm trying to switch back and forth, you know, between using my little KKW uh, palette for the mirror and then I'm trying to do the shades and I'm talking to the boys and doing all that. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really don't want anything to happen to the palette. So if there was a way to have maybe the non-magnetic and then the mirror, I think I would have just liked the mirror in there. I'm not mad about it though. Like, I'm not like, oh, I wish I didn't get this palette because there's no mirror. Like, it's not like that. It's not that deep. I'm just saying, these are like small critiques, but color story performance wise, everything just worked perfectly. And I just feel like there are so many looks with this palette. Like I only did four, but I can envision so many more. I think Inslee Rain did a fantastic job with this palette and I'm really excited to be affiliated with the brand. I'm excited for them to be on my radar. My wallet's not excited, but I'm excited and I just can't wait to see what else this indie brand continues to do in the future. I'm not sure what they do for Black Friday. Again, I'm completely new to the brand, but I know there is a pre-order open for this palette. It's like, it's like a six to eight week pre-order, but I'm hoping that maybe this will go on sale for Black Friday or some of their other palettes. I know they have the Strawberry Moon palette that was really beautiful. And I do have my eye on that Flower Moon palette for Black Friday, y'all. I definitely do. Again, I do have a code with Inslee Rain, so I will put it in the description box with my other codes. And thank you again to the brand. I did purchase this palette myself, but um, I'm really excited to see what else Inslee Rain is going to come out with because they are now on my radar. So... Let me know what you think about the palette, the looks, how you're feeling, and uh, whatever you want to let me know about, I'm here for it. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. You know what always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go block your ego.